All right, hello and welcome to OUFC TV. In today's video, we will be giving our thoughts on Oxford United's transfer window over the past couple of months. What was our fails and successes about it? And what could we have done better to deepen our squad? Like and subscribe for more content. Also, do not forget to follow our other socials, our Instagram, our TikTok, which is both OUFC TV underscore. Oli, out of all the signs we've made so far, players do you think will be most beneficial and why? I think Steve Seddon will be the most beneficial from the back because of his attacking ability down the left and helping out Gavoy as we attack. I think the quality from Seddon's delivery will also help us be more dangerous from set pieces. To be fair though, I actually think that Seddon is actually, I'd say he's a bit better than Ruffles. Ruffles was very good for us last season, I'd say. But I'd say what I've seen of Seddon so far, he's been very like good down that. He's been more attacking than Josh Ruffles as well. Seddon tries to get him with the attacks, you know, putting his good crosses in and some of them actually led to a couple of goals. So Personally, I disagree. I think Gavin White is the most beneficial player for Oxford. His um, pace down the wings um, brings a lot to Oxford and um, will be able to support Matty Taylor when he needs it. Gavin White seems to be playing a number 10 role as well this year, which it'll be interesting to see how well he is. He's not just on the wings as well. Yeah. Yeah. But who would you say is our key winger on that right side? Because left, I'd say Gavin White's kind of locked that position at the minute. But who would you say that yeah. right is? That right's not that right's not fully complete. Well, I thought I thought Gavin White played on the right and Nathan was left. Yeah, but no, we've not played them together he, yet. Link up played with Mark Sykes and Henry when Mark Sykes was on the right and James Henry was in the centre mid. I think they... I think they played pretty well. I think that um, Henry hasn't got the pace of a winger. I think he's more of a midfielder, as in how he plays with the yeah. ball. Like Gavin White, his pace is like um, unbelievable compared to Henry. His pace is like I'd say like kind yeah, of average. Right. Where do you reckon we could have improved our depth in this transfer window? At the moment, we've got a bit of a right back situation with um, Long out, and he should be expected to come back in two weeks. But that's not necessarily what we could have done better because uh, you can't really. Say you can't do an injury. Yeah, we've still got the likes of Anthony Thord there. We've got Ryan Williams comes in. Obviously, he got injured a couple of weeks ago. But we don't have other players there. But the other thing I was going to say is, um, I think Taylor needs a bit more support. He's a properly good um striker. He just doesn't really get the yeah. goal because there's no one behind him supporting him. The the plan that Carl Robinson is getting uh, is bringing Winnell on to see out the game, but he's Winnell doesn't really do that job. Guys, who's one player that you are disappointed not to have kept in this transfer window or could have brought back in from loan from last season? So, personally, I think Brandon Barker we should have like, kept. He was, really, he was really good on the wing. With his quick feet, his speed as well, running past defenders. Um, yeah, I, I, would, I would like to see him come back. And then, I think Rob Hall as well. He was still think he had a bit left in him. Um, yeah, so it was a little bit annoying to see him go, but... Yeah, how about you, Sam? I disagree with Rob Paul. I think he's got to that age where he he used to be good, but he's just not not at the quality he is um, at the moment. Um, I think we were probably right to let him go. Who I'm guessing he must have been on wages that might have um, cost us money, especially when he was on the bench the majority of the games. Rob Paul, I actually like think he had to go. Like I I didn't see him at the club anymore. Seeing him at all, like. The Caru Cup is actually an extent for him to play in. I'd say it was literally the Papa John's trophy that he played in. Who's one player that surprised you that we managed to keep hold of? Um, George Hugo. I know it's quite obvious, but Cameron Brannigan, I think he's upper championship, maybe lower and Premier League level. Um, his work rate is amazing. To be fair, that's a very obvious answer. But obviously, I've got to bring in Jack Stevens as well. His season last season was one of the best I've seen come through. As in, because of how... Because as soon as Eastwood made that mistake against Swindon, everyone knew that it was time to go straight to that bench and give Jack Stevens a chance. And he shone straight through that team, straight through, saving two penalties last season. One against our rival Swindon, which ended up winning us the game 2-1, which Adji scored, obviously. But then, as well, I'm going to say about Charlton, the last minute penalty that he saved, which basically got... basically he got, got his playoffs. I remember when one game we needed a goal, so we just chucked it more forward to try to smash them in. He's He does both, to be honest. Um, he's definitely championship yeah. level, in my opinion. If we go up... People don't realise how fast he is as well. So, like, he can yeah. catch up with the fastest yeah, players in our league. He's a quick centre-back. Yeah. Overall, what is your rating out of 10 for this transfer window? I'll start off with George. I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10 because I think we brought in enough players and we didn't lose too many key players. I think Ruffles was probably the most key player, but I do think Seddon is a step up. Sam? 
I think a uh, six out of ten because losing Atkinson and uh, Ruffles is quite a big thing. I guess we got money from it, but um, Ruffles we didn't get money from, and it's quite disappointing. Uh, Ollie... I think the seven, but I think the signs we brought in were like all very good. I don't think there was one that really lacked, to be honest, because like even Davies that we made on the last day, he he's a youth player. He's gonna he's coming, like, not youth. He's like young. He's gonna come. Potential. Yeah, he's got a lot of potential. But um, I yes yeah, seven because. Atkinson, like we lost, he was a big part of last season going forward as well. Uh, but I think Thornley's really proved that he can do that as well, and against Lincoln especially. But as well, Ruffles, I'm quite disappointed that we didn't get, we didn't give him another contract, but we lost him on a free to see them to step up, as you said. All right, I'm probably going to give it a seven and a half. I mean, like Ollie said, there wasn't anyone that really was like a bit of a lack signing. You know, we were all brought in good players like Gavin White, obviously the back, Steve said, and Jordan Thornley. Thank you for watching. Follow all of our social medias and subscribe and we'll see you later. Bye.